I'm Shaquille Cook, and this is your board meeting brief for the September 20th school board work session. Superintendent Dr. Crystal Edwards and Chief Academic Officer Sam Cohen presented data from last spring's SOL scores and provided strategies to close gaps in student achievement. This presentation highlighted the incredible work by LCS staff and students over the last year as they continue to grow out of the challenges created by the COVID-19 pandemic. So two things are true at the same time. We're doing the work that we want to see. Our teachers are doing the work, our students are doing the work, our parents are doing the work. And the second thing is true is there are worthy goals when we talk about a tradition for excellence, and we talk about every child by name and by need to graduation and beyond, that is a worthy goal. And we know we have room left to go. Our job is to work with children where they are, even if at the starting line there are gaps, but to do what we can from the instructional, experiential, educational lens to make sure that even if those gaps did start early, they don't persist as kids walk through our educational system. The Virginia Department of Education defines the achievement gap as a difference in academic performance between student groups. An LCS examined performance results grouped by racial identity, students identified as economically disadvantaged, students who receive special education services, and students who receive English learner services. Between 2021 and 2022, SOL scores in both reading and math increased in all categories. In fact, LCS score improvements outpace state averages in many categories. To further increase student learning and close gaps in achievement, LCS will strategically use student data, increase quality instructional coaching and professional development, and align effective instructional strategies. In addition, LCS plans to foster greater collaboration across departments, particularly among curriculum and instruction, student services, special education, and IT, to best support teachers and students. Moving forward, LCS will also take an even more proactive approach in regards to resource allocation, especially with grant funding, in order to address additional challenges that are ahead. See more information and highlights by watching the school board work session on the LCS YouTube channel. I'm Shaquille Cook, and this was your board meeting brief.